officials on this estate in southern Rhodesia are used to the sight and sound of an aircraft. Taxing in through the trees, the pilot, Mr. Bristow, has quite a welcome waiting in. His wife is there to greet him, and so is their 10-month-old zebra, one of many orphans on their farm. It seems that almost any wild animal can be tamed if you catch them when they're young enough. Twani the lynx is another example. He couldn't be more delighted at his master's return. The dog looks a bit out of place among all this wildlife, but he's just one of a happy family and always ready for a game. Twani retires from the fray to tackle something a little more his size. Mary, a buffalo calf and a young wildebeest called Macmillan, for some reason, were saved from a flood by Mr. Bristow. The Bristows take in all sorts of orphans and refugees, even including a hyena. He's called Stinker. Don't ask me why. The nine crocs obviously prefer farm life to life in the wild. Salika and Lee, two of six cheetahs who were brought in when they were only a few days old and adopted by a fox terrier. Unfortunately, three were lost through injury and the wrong diet. Now fully grown, the remaining cats are well behaved and really enjoy the company of their owners. It's like a zoo with a difference. Plenty of wild animals, but no bad temper from anyone. Thanks to the Bristows, the farm remains a haven for the orphans of the wild. The damage and...